Hello and welcome to Gentle Chair Yoga. My name is Kara and today's class is going to be entirely in standing using the chair for support. This is a perfect class to build strength and flexibility, especially in the lower body. We're going to do some flowing sun salutations, some warrior poses, of course, downward dog, one of my favorites, and we will end with a seated Shavasana. So let's begin. Good alignment is key in a yoga practice. So we're going to start by reminding ourselves of good standing alignment. It's helpful if you have a wall nearby that you can stand against. If you don't, not to worry. So I'm going to start by pressing my heels into the base of the baseboards against the wall and then feeling connection with my buttocks, my shoulder blades, and the back of my head, pressing the back line of the body into the wall. Notice how that feels. Breathing in and breathing out, pressing into the back of the shoulders, into the wall. You'll probably notice that it takes some effort to hold yourself in this perfect alignment. You may even be feeling a stretch through your chest. Breathing in and breathing out. And this is a great exercise to do several times a day, especially if you've been doing a lot of seated desk work or looking at your phone or tablet. One more breath in. And this time, as you exhale, press your low back into the wall. So coming into a slight pelvic tilt. And then inhale to release. And exhale, press the low back into the wall, just flattening the curve in the low back a little bit. You should feel this in your abdominals. And each time you breathe out, try this gentle rocking motion with the pelvis to engage the abdominals. Breathing in, release. And breathing out, gently pressing the belly button in, flattening the curve in the low back. Good. All right, now let's come to the back of our chairs. So feeling your feet on the ground, inner and outer heels are pressing down, pressing down through the balls of your feet, through the big toe base and the little toe base, drawing the kneecaps up, slightly engaging the glutes, lifting the chest, roll the shoulders up, back and down, and then closing the eyes here, gently resting your fingertips on the chair back for support. And drop your attention inwards. Noticing how you're feeling today in this moment. Welcoming all that is within you Simply acknowledge what's here. Maybe saying, hello, I see you. And setting an intention for your practice today. It can be anything you'd like it to be. For me, I'm going to be thinking about strong foundations grounding through the feet, feeling the earth, using that as a place of support for my practice. And then open the eyes if they were closed, beginning with some cactus sun salutations. So as you take your next breath in, reach your arms out and up any amount and then exhale, bend the elbows coming into cactus arms. Inhale, arms out to a T-shape. 
and exhale, release the arms to your sides or to the back of the chair. Let's do that a few times. Inhale, float the arms up, gazing up to the fingers if you like. Exhale into cactus arms. Inhale, arms to a T. And exhale, release. Feel free to do this with one arm holding on to the back of the chair. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, cactus-shaped arm. Inhale, arm out to a T. And exhale, release. Last one. Inhale, float the arm up. Gaze upwards. Exhale, cactus-shaped arm. Inhale to a T and exhale, release. Roll the shoulders to reset up, back and down. Belly button is drawing in. Take a breath, notice how you feel. I want you to pay special attention to your feet as we transition into downward dog using the chair for support. So have a look down at your feet. Can you lift your toes off the ground? Fan out your toes as best as you can, creating a lot of base of support for your body here. Let's try that again. Inhale, lifting the toes up and then fan them out and drop them down, feeling these foundations and grounding down through your feet as we go into downward dog. So begin to walk your feet back behind you. Keep your knees soft and your elbows slightly bent. Begin to drop the chest down, hinging at the hips until you find a spot where you can rest the back of the neck is long as you gaze down towards the ground. Elbows and knees are bent, belly button is drawing in. The sitting bones are tilting and reaching up towards the ceiling. Sink the chest a little bit lower. And maybe in this first downward dog, you can experiment a little bit with bending the knees and straightening the knees a little bit, just warming up the legs. Keeping the spine lengthening. Breathing in and breathing out. Smile, relax the face. And then we'll begin to baby step back to the chair. So nice slow baby steps all the way back, feeling your feet Feeling the sensations through the feet, coming back up to standing and then into an upward dog shape. So pressing the fingertips down into the back of the chair and looking up, lifting the chest, spread through the collarbones. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, transition back into downward dog again. Walk the feet back behind you. Feet are hip distance apart. Bend the elbows, soften the knees, hinge at the hips, belly button draws in. And sink the heart down towards the ground, feeling an opening in the shoulders, in the chest, and in the backs of the legs. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in, back of the neck is long. Breathing out, belly button drawing in. One more breath in. And exhale fully. Baby step to the back of the chair. Coming to standing and then into upward dog, pressing down through the fingertips, lifting the chest, looking up, slight chin tuck, open
open through the collarbones, shoulder blades are drawing together. And last downward dog, exhale and walk back. Ankles and hips are stacked. The spine is long, sinking the heart, maybe straightening a little bit more through the legs, but you're also free to keep the knees bent, especially if it helps you keep your spine from bending forward. Trying to keep the curve in the low back intact. Maybe even a slight arch in the low back as you draw the sitting bones up. One more breath in and out. Press your hands into the back of the chair. And then lift the chest looking up and walk forward, baby steps. Great work. Roll the shoulders. <sighs> Take a breath. And place your hands back on the back of the chair. And we'll be going into chair pose. Always my favorite pose in a chair yoga class. So let's honor this pose, this chair shape. So feet are hip distance apart. Lift the toes off the mat, reset, fan the toes out, feel into those strong foundations that you've created, pressing into the feet, inhale. And then as you exhale, begin to sink down, bending your knees, hinging at the hips, keep the spine long, coming into a squat position. So using your hands to support this, Try to keep the chest lifting, gaze is forward, shoulder blades are back. And then inhale, coming back up. This time we'll do it incorporating some arm raises. So feel free to add this on or keep doing the previous version. So inhale, reach the right arm up. And then exhale, come into your chair pose. Pressing through the heels, keep the chest open and lifting, strong legs. And then inhale, come up and exhale, drop the arm down. Inhale, the left arm up. And then exhale, sink back into your heels, coming into your chair pose. Hold. And inhale, reach up, straighten the legs, exhale, release. Two more like this. Changing arms if you like, inhale, reach up, and exhale, squat. Almost like you're about to sit in a chair. So sticking your buttocks back, pressing down through your heels evenly, and then inhale, up, exhale, release. Last one, inhale, arm reaches up. Exhale, like you're sitting back into a chair. Hold. And inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, release the arm. We're going to stretch out our hips with some warrior poses now. So begin by shifting your weight into the right foot and then stepping the left foot back behind you any amount that feels comfortable for you picturing your feet like railroad tracks so they're not right on top of each other they're spread about hip distance apart then angle your back toes about 45 degrees out to the side this will help your hip open in the stretch See if you can press down through the back foot equally, pressing down through the baby toe edge of the foot, the outer heel, and then bringing your hands to the back of the chair, bending the front knee, and holding this pose, this warrior one shape, drawing the belly button in, 
feeling a string at the crown of your head lifting you up, pulling you tall. And then feel free to add prayer position with one or both palms at your heart center, or maybe even reaching one or both arms overhead. Breathing in, sink your awareness down into your feet. Feel your feet pressing down through the earth, squaring the hips forward and growing tall out of your pelvis. One more breath. Exhale, take your hands to the back of the chair and step that foot forward, changing sides. Stepping back with the right leg. Have a look down. Do you have railroad tracks? And then angling the back foot out 45 degrees, dropping down through the left hip a little bit and bringing the right hip forward, bending the front knee, pressing down through both feet, especially the outer edge of the back foot. Holding this warrior one for a few breaths. Just letting your breath be the most interesting part of this pose. Breathing in fully and out fully. Feel free to add any arm position that feels right for you. Hand on the heart. We're reaching up. Pressing down through your feet. One more breath. When you're ready, bring your hands to the chair and step it forward. Let's give the legs a good shake. So shake out one leg and then the other leg. Time for pyramid pose. Stepping the left leg back once again, but this time toes are facing forward instead of angling out to the side. So have a look down railroad tracks with your feet. Toes are forward and both legs are straight. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, begin to hinge at the hips, folding forward. Keep the chest open. Maybe coming to forearms on the chair back. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward. You should be feeling a great stretch in the back of the legs right now. So maybe coming down if you want to go a little deeper. Take it slow bringing hands to the chair seat, only if that feels comfortable for you today. You're gonna feel a stretch, but hopefully it's within the zone that feels like you're just on the edge, but not going into any pain. Breathing in and breathing out. Belly button draws in, chest remains open, back of the neck is long. And then when you're ready to come out of the pose, just walk your hands back up to the back of the chair and then straighten your elbows, look forward, soften the knees and step forward. Great work. Let's do the other side. So step the right foot back behind you have a look down railroad tracks with your feet, all 10 toes pointing the same direction. Take a breath in, lift the chest, and then as you exhale, bend the elbows and hinge at the hips. Coming to your forearms, pause here, sense into the body. Give 
and let the backs of the legs begin to open. And then you decide to take this a little deeper or stay right where you are. Breathing in and breathing out. Noticing the pauses between breath in and breath out and breath out and breath in. In yoga, the breath is just as important as the pose itself, maybe even more so. So make sure it's flowing, pressing down through your feet and then beginning to walk yourself back up, like straightening the elbows and softening the legs, stepping forward. All right, we're going to be using the seat of the chair now. So find a place where you can stand at the side of your chair, holding on to the back of the chair with your left hand. You're going to step your right leg up onto the back of the chair. So begin to shift your weight into your left foot and then slowly unload the right foot and place it on the chair seat. Notice how that feels. Press now through both feet to elongate the spine. And then we're going to come into a simple twist here. So breathing in and as you exhale, hinging at the hips, begin to lean forward, maybe placing your forearm onto the back of the chair. Take your right hand to your right hip, gently draw that hip crease back. And then if you're coming with me, you can take that left hand and place it right onto the seat on the inside of your foot. Just notice how that feels, pressing down through the hand and the foot equally, and then coming into a twist. As you inhale, begin to reach that right arm up any amount gazing up to the ceiling, twisting, feeling a little wobbly, that's okay. And then exhale, draw that arm back down and then walk your left hand back up to the chair back. Take your right hand to your thigh and then begin to slowly, slowly come back up. Good. So we're going to twist the other way this time. So this is called side angle pose in yoga. So begin by bending now your right elbow and placing your forearm on top of the right thigh. So this time we're twisting the other way. So gazing down and staying here if this feels wobbly enough for you or you can bring the left hand up overhead twisting in the opposite direction breathing in and breathing out pressing down through your feet drawing your belly button in lengthen up through the spine opening the chest One more breath in and out. And then dropping the arm down, taking hand to thigh and chair back and inhale to stand up again. Let's take that foot down and wiggle, bend the knees a little bit. And let's do the other side. So now you should be standing at the side of the chair so that you can hold the back of the chair with your right hand. So shifting weight into your right foot and then bending the left knee, placing the foot on the chair. Inhale, growing tall, 
Then exhale, hinge at the hips and come to your forearm or maybe bring your hand all the way down to the chair seat. Holding here for a moment, press into both feet and hand. And then if you'd like to join me, turning towards your left and gazing up to the left hand as you extend it out. Breathing in, breathing out. Opening through your arms. Draw that left hip back a little bit. One more breath. And exhale, release. Take your hand to your thigh, the other hand up to the chair back, and then straighten your elbows to come back up to standing. Let's twist the other way now. So bending the left elbow onto the thigh, and then looking over your right shoulder, maybe reaching the right arm up overhead. Breathing in and breathing out. Chest is open and spiraling up towards the ceiling. Pressing down through your feet. And exhale, release, standing up tall and set that leg back down. Excellent work. Just bend through the knees, release. And then come to the front of your chair, facing the seat of the chair. Let's do a forward fold. This will be our last standing pose of the session today. So feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, lifting the chest, then exhale, hinging at the hips, placing your hands either on the back of the chair or down to the seat of the chair. And then coming into a forward fold. So begin to let your head and neck be heavy. Begin to fold down, bending your elbows a little bit more. Some of you may actually Bring your hands, one or both hands, down to the ground. Coming into a forward fold, you can let your forehead rest on the back of the chair if that feels comfortable. And just sway your legs side to side. You may want to adjust your feet so that your ankles, knees, and hips are in alignment. And just attempting this forward fold in any way that feels really good for your body today. So it doesn't have to look like my shape. I'm just trying to get the head a little bit lower than the heart. So play around with it. You can have your forearms on the chair seat. You can sway a little right and left. You can bend one knee and the other knee. Listen to your body. Breathing in and breathing out. Feeling a stretch all through the back body. Letting the tension go from the neck and shoulders and spine. And then really deeply bend the knees and begin to roll up, taking your hands to the chair seat. Begin to come back to standing slowly, slowly, rolling back up. Let your head and neck be the last thing to come up. And finally, we're ready for our reward. Coming to your seat, or maybe even lying down as you like. Sliding back into a comfortable position where you can rest and integrate all of those movements. 
So once you've found a comfortable seated position or lying down position, feel free to close your eyes. And for a moment, just scrunch your eyes closed, tight, tight, tight. Feel the muscles in your eyes. And then exhale, release the eyes. And then reach your right arm out in front of you. Tighten all the muscles in your right arm. Hold. And then exhale, drop it and let it go. Then tighten all the muscles in your left arm. Hold, breathe in. And exhale, let it go. Tighten the muscles in your right leg. Draw the toes up towards you. Breathe and exhale, let it go. Tighten the muscles in your left leg. Draw the toes up and exhale, release. Release, release, release. Let go and enjoy this feeling of melting into the surfaces that support you. There's nothing else you need to do. Letting go of all effort. This time is just for you to be, to cultivate a sense of stillness and peace within the body. Breathing in and know that you're breathing in. And breathing out and know that you're breathing out. That's it. There's nothing to change or fix. Relaxing into all that is here. Maybe there are sounds. Maybe you have thoughts about what you're going to do next. Just hold all of that very lightly, keeping a gentle focus on the inhale and exhale. stay 